Um, I'm here today because I just finished uh, a new plane in my series, The Statement. So previously I posted a, a video on this nice little small smoothing plane here. Just bring it up a little bit closer. This is a, uh, I called this The Statement number one. Um, several videos on my YouTube channel deal with this. Sorry, I uh, very soft playing. Just can't help myself. Um, and while I was discussing this plane, uh, I mentioned that I was making a larger version in the, well, not, not of similar design in the same series, right? So this is it. So this is the statement, number two. Um, this is a pretty hefty smoothing plane. Um, it has um, steel sole, six millimeters, uh, copper sides, boat shape, ebony infills, and um, yeah, I used a uh, combination of ammonia and a table salt to get this beautiful um, blue patina going. And uh, the sole and the sides are attached via these small rivets here. So these are taper pins. I drilled a couple of holes in the uh, through the sides into the sole of the plane and then I put in the taper pins and then you can um, construct a plane like this. Uh, I'm sure that it also works. I think they should be fair too, right? It's a plane. And indeed, it planes. Um, what I really like about this is um, it's a metal plane that sort of feels like a Kringhoff type plane in the sense that it is fairly low, right? So it has a different feel to it than a normal Stanley or even a Norris uh, smoothing plane. I have a, have a, have a Nora smoothing plane and uh, compared them yesterday extensively and um, yeah it feels different right because uh, because you hold it like this so that is different from a normal smoothing plane I'm not saying it's better it's just different it has a different feel maybe a little bit more direct uh, but it has the weight and the heft of a normal metal plane um, what else yeah I kind of like this the sort of black sleek look to it um, the way it looked like it looks like a boat and uh, you know, and how it partners with the with the smaller, this nice little plane here. I think the two of them make a very handsome duo, maybe father and son, or two little brothers, or a little brother and a big brother. Um, I'm not really sure, but I think it's very pretty. So where is this going, this series? Uh, next, I think I'll, I'll, I'll do away with the, the dark colours here. So this is purplish, due to oxidation of the bronze. So this is, oh sorry, blue, copper, patina, that we have here. I think the next plane is, will be uh, constructed out of this. So this is nickel silver, right? sort of a bra brass uh, nickel alloy. It sort of looks like silver. Um, and this I want to use uh, to make a plane that is just a little bit smaller than this one, just by a few, by an inch or so, just a few centimeters smaller. Um, again, bending it whoop, in this shape. I've never worked with, with nickel silver before. I, 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 I don't know how this is going to respond to me bending um, bending it into this type of shape, but we'll see. And of course I'll post a video um, as the time comes. I'll probably polish the whole thing, maybe um, maybe finish it um, with uh, 800 grit for example. Uh, I think it should be fairly nice. All right, good, thanks, bye.